Hey, it's Joe Tamargo from WetHeadPumpRepair.com. All right, the first thing you want to do is hit that subscribe button below. That way you get the latest and greatest videos delivered right into your inbox every time we publish them. All right, so we're back with the dual Hayward Super Pump Repair. No, there's no such thing as a dually like on the Cal Spot Pumps. We're just actually working on two Hayward Super Pumps at the same time. One is a newer edition and one is the older edition. All right, so in the last videos, we showed you how to remove the impellers. Now we're going to be talking about the seal housing. So we're going to go ahead and take this piece off here. This other piece is still attached. You can see it just pulls right off. After you pull the impeller, that piece just pulls right off. When you go to put it back on later, there's an area where it says top. So don't even worry about that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to slide my super pumps out of the way. All right, now I got my both my seal housings. You can see here's an older seal housing and here is a newer seal housing. Okay, they basically both look the same. One looks nicer. All right, so we're going to flip both of those seal housings over just like this. And you can see in the back, there's like a the little bit of white there. That is the seal, so we're gonna knock that out. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna take my flathead screwdriver, and I'm gonna take a hammer and I'm gonna knock on the back of that white ceramic there. Okay, here we go. We're also gonna show you as a close up on the next one in a minute. All right, so once I knock out that, just like that, you will see the seal. One part of the seal comes out. Now that is one part of the seal. People say, oh, is there two seals? There's actually two parts of the seal, but one actual seal, and that comes in the kits that we sell on wetheadpumprepair.com. All right, so here you go. That's one part of the seal. The second part of the seal is mounted to your impeller. Sometimes you can get lucky and just grab it with your hand, and it will slide right off, just like that. And then you'll be left with that piece of metal on there, okay? Just like that, or you know what I mean? And then when that little piece of metal stuck, you can just take a piece of, uh, or a pair of channel locks, rather, and just grab this off like this and just spit it, just like that. And the second piece comes off. Like that. That's the whole part. You don't need this piece right here. You don't need that part. You don't need this anymore. You can just put this on the side. You can even put it back together if you want, just like this. There it is, back together. So these are the two pieces of your seal. One came out of here, and then one came out of here. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to move the camera up close, and I'm going to show you how to remove both these pieces up close. That way you can see it up close instead of far away. All right, thanks for watching. All parts are available. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. We'll see you in the next videos. Peace.